Guess where we are, folks? We are actually in Rochester, Illinois, and believe it or not, we're about to find an Abraham Lincoln sign. I am now in, e I'm on Ebel Street, Ebel Street, and uh, we are in the Rochester Community Park. Now, as you can see, we're headed towards the Stephen Stone Park, or Stone House, the Stephen Stone House. Remember I told you people that these signs were in some very obscure places? You don't get more obscure than this. <laughs> you say, wait a minute. How far out is this thing? Yeah. Nice muddy ro road here. Glad I didn't drive in this. All right, this is called the Stephen Stone House, and as you can see, another Abe Lincoln sign right over here. Well, I sure get myself in some of the muddiest places you've ever seen. It's cold, it's muddy, but I'm here. <laughs> All right, here it is, folks. The next Abe Lincoln sign here in Rochester, Rochester, Illinois, the Stephen Stone House, and we're just a couple minutes away from Apple Drive. Oh, looky here! I got names on the bottom of this thing. This is kind of cool. Maybe one of these days I'll come out here and videotape all of them. Rochester Historical Preservation Society. I'm sure that these are people that did this. Okay. Good afternoon, everybody. It's once again Ted the Speed Learner, and I am once again in downtown Springfield. Uh, as you'll see, there's a municipal parking garage right over here. And this is the first sign I showed you in the last video. It is right across the street from the post office. And if you look right over here, there's a water fountain. And you remember I showed you the second sign that was right over here? Well, I'm going to show that to you in just a second. Oh, hang on just a second. Let's, uh, go ahead. Oh, 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 okay. I guess. I guess. There we go. You can see the water fountain's right over here. And right over there is the second sign I showed you in the previous video. So there it is. Uh, as you can see there, there's also the Lincoln Library. So as you can see, that's where all that's generally located. And I'm going to shut this off for a second. Now I'm going to uh, continue this in just a moment, so stay tuned. We're still on the corner of 7th and Monroe at a water fountain. And if you look right over here, you'll see another Abraham Lincoln sign. I'm going to read this to you in just a second, so stay tuned. Okay, folks, we are at the Lincoln Library over here on 7th and Capitol. And guess what we have found? Not just one sign, but if we do this, dun 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 dun, dun we have two. Stay tuned, I'm going to read both of them to you. We're at the Lincoln Public Library, and guess what? We have found yet another sign. I'm going to read this to you in just a second, so stay tuned. It is once again Ted the Speed Learner, and yet, yes, we haven't quite left the uh, Lincoln Public Library, as you can see here. And right across the street is another Looking for Lincoln sign. I'm going to read you this one in just a second, so stay tuned. We're on the corner of 7th and Adams Street, and I want you to see what this corner looks like. And what we're looking for, believe it or not, is right here. 
I will read this to you in just a second, so stay tuned. Now I showed this to you in my last video. Sixth Street is that way. Fifth Street is this way. Okay, we are on Capitol Avenue. All right, this is Norbandy's Tavern. We're on Capitol Avenue. That's six. That's Sixth Street. That's Fifth Street. And this was the Virgil Hickox home, which I read to you previously. All right, I will tell you more in just a second. Stay, stay tuned. This is the corner of Fifth and Monroe. As you'll see, we have Lincoln Square Apartments where the Masonic uh, sign was. And over here, you'll see right over here on this little corner here, we have the State of Illinois Department of Commerce, Commerce and Economic Opportunity. And we have a sign over here, Leaping Lincoln. Okay, so the Leaping Lincoln signs over here, the Masonic signs over here. Tell you more in a bit. Stay tuned. Okay, we are on the corner of 5th and Monroe, and guess what? We have found ourselves yet another link Looking for Lincoln sign. I will read this to you in just a second, so stay tuned. We're on the corner of 5th and Monroe, and yet we have found another Leaping Lincoln sign. So you come to the corner of 5th and Monroe, you'll find this one. I'll read it to you in just a second, so stay tuned. We are on the corner of 6th and Monroe, and guess what we have found? Another Looking for Lincoln sign. It's right next to the Paul Finley Federal Building U.S. Courthouse. So I'm going to read this to you in just a second, so stay tuned. All right, if you look down this way, you'll find 6th and Monroe, and you'll see all these businesses like the Blue Door and the Spice of Life, but also you will see this. And not only will you see this, but also you will see this. I'm going to read both of these to you in just a second, so stay tuned. We are now on the corner of 6th and Adams Street. As you can see here, there's the American House. And remember in the video I showed you the subway over here and the Cold Stone ice cream? Okay, and if you go just a little bit further down, you're going to find a two more looking for Lincoln signs because that's where the Springfield shirt furniture is, okay? And I will tell you more in just a second, so stay tuned. This is the corner of 5th and Adams, and you'll see two looking for Lincoln signs right down here. This is Catch-22, and you're going to see two looking for Lincoln signs right over here. I'm going to actually walk up to these, and I'm going to read this to you in just a second. So I want you to stay tuned because, like I said, there's not just one sign on here, but there are two. Stay tuned. All right, we're on 5th and Adams, and uh, we're going to have this sign over here. It says the American House, and so if you want to find the sign on 5th and Adams where the American House is, well, just kind of look across the street from the subway, and there it is. Tell you more in just a second. Stay tuned. Okay, we're right across the street from the Illinois Department of Commerce and Ep Economic Opportunity, and right over here is Springfield Furniture and Recycled Records, and we not only have one sign over here, but we have another sign over here. I'm going to tape these in just a moment, so stay tuned. Okay, this one's Get Ted the Speed Learner. We are on 6th and Adams, and you'll see there's a subway here, and we have two signs, one here and one right over here. And we're going to get those in just a second, so stay tuned. We are on the corner of 5th and Washington Streets, and if you'll come from here all the way down here, you'll find this. And I will read this to you in just a second, so stay tuned. As you can see, we're on the corner of 5th and Washington Streets, and I showed you these the last time I was here. This is uh, uh, an Illinois State Treasurer building. You can see there's Joshua's Speed Store and Lincoln's Last Law Office. And believe it or not, they're right across the street from the old state capitol. Which today they're having some kind of a presentation. I'm not sure exactly what it is. But the thing is, if you find these two signs over here, you're also going to find that sign over there. So I will tell you more in just a second. Stay tuned. One is what's getting Ted the Speed Learner, and I wanted to tell you guys that we are on the corner of 5th and Washington Streets, and not only have we found this sign here, which is Joshua Speed Store, but on the other side, Lincoln's Last Law Office. I'm going to read both of these to you in just a moment, so stay tuned. We are still at the corner, folks, of 
5th Street and Washington Street. And guess what? We have found another Lincoln sign. I'm going to show you this to you in just a second, so stay tuned. As you can see here, this is the old state capitol building. And this is Chase Bank. We are between 5th and 6th Streets. Okay? And I had shown you this the last time I was here. And I just wanted to show it to you again so that you have a pretty good idea where you're at. Uh, we are between 5th and 6th Street on Washington, okay? This is Washington Street we're walking on right now. That Over there is 6th Street. That's 6th Street. Down there is 5th Street. And there's the Looking for Lincoln sign I read to you the last time. So there you go. I'll tell you more in just a second, so stay tuned. And like I said in the last video, this was 6th uh, of Washington, and here's the Ball Alley. All right, we are on the corner of 6th of Washington Street. You can actually see a candy shop right here, but you can also see the old state capitol. And this is the next Looking for Lincoln sign. I will tell you about this in just a second, so stay tuned. We are right across the street from the old state capitol, and guess what we have found? Yet another Looking for Lincoln sign. I'm going to read this to you in just a second, so stay tuned. We are still at the corner, folks, of... 5th Street and Washington Street, and guess what? We have found another Lincoln sign. I'm going to show you this to you in just a second, so stay tuned. This is, once again, Ted the Speed Learner on 5th and Adams Street. We have a sign right here. Believe it or not, we also have another sign right here. Look at that. We have two more way down there. And more importantly, give me just a moment here. We have two more way over there in that corner and one way down there on that one. I mean, we got a lot of reading to do. Stay tuned. Now we're in downtown Springfield and I wanted to videotape this for you guys. We have a lot of signs over here. You can see this. You'll see a sign over here, one over here, him, two signs over here, and I will tell you more in a future video, so stay tuned. You can see here we're on the corner of Adams and Broadway, and you say, well, where are we going to go now? Well, if you go down here, that's 3rd Street, and if you walk right over here, I think you can already see it. I bet you can. On the way over here. Ta-da! Another Looking for Lincoln sign. I will read this to you in just a second, so stay tuned. We are on the corner of 4th and Washington Street, and if you look over here, there's the Amtrak station, and I'm going to take you directly to a double-sided Looking for Lincoln sign, but we're going to go over here first, because guess what? There is yet another Looking for Lincoln sign right over here. Yes, sir, Bob. We ain't done yet. Here it is, Brunswick's Billiard Hall. I'll read this to you in just a second, so stay tuned. We're on the corner of 3rd Street and Washington Street, and guess what we have found? The Amtrak Station, and believe it or not, this is a double-sided Looking for Lincoln sign. That's right, folks. We have a double-sided Looking for Lincoln sign. I'm going to read this to you in just a second, so stay tuned. And to end our journey in Springfield, we are right across the street from the... Uh, Abraham Lincoln Museum, and guess what? Hopefully the final sign in Springfield. I will tell you more about this in just a second, so stay tuned. Okay, folks, like I said before, we are at the Great Western Railroad Depot right here. And as you will see, right over here, look at this wonderful place. Wow! This says the Great Western Depot, owned and maintained by the State Journal Registry. And we'll go in here for just a second. Oh, it's open. I just. <laughs> and right over here, folks, is the next Looking for Lincoln sign. I will read this to you in just a second, so stay tuned. 
Good afternoon, folks. It is once again Ted the Speed Learner, and I am at the Illinois National Guard History Museum. And you're going to see a whole bunch of this stuff here. You're going to see a helicopter, a tank, another helicopter, and you're going to see a howitzer over here. But that's not why we came here. We have found something more important. That's right, folks. Right over here. I'm in Springfield, Illinois, and this is the Springfield Art Association. And when you find this pink house, see this pink house right here? You're going to find over here. this and I'm gonna read this to you in just a moment stay tuned all right we are at hang on the Lincoln Memorial Garden and Nature Center and if you go to the Lincoln Memorial Garden and Nature Center you will find this that's right folks so I guess Google was right on this one. Unfortunately, he, uh, Google was not right, believe it or not, on the other three signs I was trying to pursue today. Uh, I'm going to tr keep trying to pursue signs until the sun goes down, but I am, I'm starting to run out of time. So stay tuned. Okay, we're at East Lake Shore Drive. And what you're going to find on East Lake Shore Drive, uh, next to Veagle Road, is called the Prairie Center. It says the Prairie Center closes at dark. That's fine. We're not going to be here that long. There's a house right over here. Okay, and a wooden fence. And what's more important is what's over here. You wouldn't believe where I am. This is muddy, of course, and wet and cold. But guess what we just found? on East Lake Shore Drive. Yes, sirree, Bob? A looking for Lincoln sign. All right, I will tell you all about this in just a second. Stay tuned.